I'm Kainz and Janus, and today we are going to continue with tutorial 7 of our science of flow for data science and machine learning. And today will be a short tutorial about training this model. Actually, the code to train the model is very short, but you need to understand what it means or what is happening when a model is being trained. And as I mentioned, in the, as you can see here, we are going to train the, the data sites, actually train the model in 10 epochs. So this word epoch, I really don't like it, but uh, it's, it's what has been programmed to be used. So sometimes an epoch is differentiated from between uh, an epoch and an iteration. They are actually the same, but a little different. Now we are going to feed in 60,000 training data sites uh, into this model. We are going to feed this 60,000 into uh, this model we've created here. Okay. So in each iteration, we are feeding in one. In the next iteration, we are feeding in two. Uh, the second one until the 60,000 are complete. That is one epoch has completed. So each time we iterate through the whole 60,000 records of training data set, we've completed an epoch. Then we start again through feeding the 60,000 again through the, through the, through the, the, the network. So, a, once it feeds into the network, it comes out with a prediction. And using the loss function, that prediction, the loss is calculated and signed back. And the model uses that uh, loss to improve on the parameters and then go again. So uh, this happens in iterations, but in an epoch, uh, we have the whole 60,000 may have completed. So we are talking about feeding 60,000 uh, uh, records into the network 10 times, meaning 600,000 records pass, passes through this data set uh, in the course of the training. So uh, let's try to do it. Let's train this model now. And I want you to be seeing what is happening in each of the epoch uh, when the data is trained. So let's see. So the code goes this way. Model dot feet and model dot feet we provide the training sets and the labels so training images and we also pass in the, the labels I think we call the train labels and I mentioned that we are going to use 10 epochs so remember that you can be reading up the explanation in the test here so that it becomes clear to you all right, so let's commence the training. Normally training takes time, but let's see. Let me fire it off at this point. Boom. Uh, it says unrecognized keyword epoch. So it has to be epochs. Epochs is equal to time, okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we have one epoch is running now. One epoch is running as you can see. Uh, 50, okay, so can see the number of records oh, passing through the network in this one epoch. So the whole 60,000 records is going to pass in through this network at this point. And we are looking at the accuracy improving here. The accuracy is 82. And we also see that the loss is reducing. The second epoch normally is faster than the first epoch. And normally the second epoch has a higher accuracy than the first one. So you can see uh, is improving from 82 now to 86, and the loss is reducing from 0 0.49 to uh, 3 to, to 3.7. So at this point, I could actually pause the video or I could fast forward, forward it, but I'll actually not cut out this because it's better for you to uh, stay on your desk and see exactly what is happening all the way from beginning to end. So I'm actually will allow it to complete so that we can see the, the, the end and accuracy of this model. And take note that we started with an accuracy of 82.7, which is fairly good. Accuracy of 82.7. The reason is because we have used an optimizer and we've also used the, the mainly the key thing is the, the optimizer that was used. So it means that the model is pretty uh, not too bad, and the data set too is, is also okay. So 
let's see how far we've gone here. We have from 82, he's come to 89. So let's see, can we get up to 100% accuracy? Uh, maybe 0 0.0001 loss, I don't know. So one thing you know, one thing I can tell you about training a network, or even training anything, the more you train, the more the network uh, improves in accuracy and in other things. So it's just like normal training, the more you train, the more it improves. The more the input data, the more uh, you have a higher accuracy. So at this point, we are at Epoch 7. Epoch 7 is running, so let's just keep following it and let's see how it goes. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, I've not, I think I've mentioned it, if you've not subscribed, so that you don't miss any update, because after now, we are going to actually use a different data set to be analyzing something that is a bit more challenging. So hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any challenges, do let me know. Uh, so, okay, so this is Epoch 9 now. At what accuracy are we? At 90% uh, accuracy. So that is fine. So and we have a loss of 0 0.2. So which is still B. Uh, okay. All right, so I just want to check something. Okay, so, okay. All right, so we ended up at 91% accuracy and also 0.23 loss, which is okay. So this is what happens when the network is trained. We've trained it now and we are going to use it to make prediction. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to say, if you have challenges, let me know and we continue the next nice parts.